Hey Prince Lobby, it's me Prince Lee. Today we're going to be trading the brand new retired egg that you can only get from the VIP room. It's going to be such an awesome video. We're going to see how rare these eggs really are and if they're worth buying or whether you should just leave them to the side. Before we get into this, make sure to enter my Robux giveaway. All you need to do is just leave a like, subscribe and comment down below your Roblox username. I'll announce the giveaway winners later on in the video. But let's go, let's jump around, jump down to the main center. Ah! Yay, we didn't crash land. Okay, for a second I was like, wait, are we going to crash land? Is it going to glitch out? And then we just walked off the edge and we were all good. <laughs> this is super awesome. But before we start trading in this super rich server, because literally the server is so rich, literally we can see two neon unicorns right here. Starbus is just looking at Skittles over here. <laughs> We've got someone trading Golden King Penguin. This person has a super awesome neon cow. We've got two frost dragons. No, we've got one frost dragon, one frost fury, two frost furies. Honestly, the numbers of all of these pets are so crazy. So we're going to do some awesome trading today. But first, we need to head into the nursery and buy some of the retired eggs. Okay, let's head into here. And I think to start off with, we should buy nine of these retired eggs. We might go broke, but it's going to be worth it. Let's go one, two, three. And let me know down the coins below. How many of these eggs have you bought? Have you bought like one or two? Have you even bought any yet? Since some people don't have the VIP game pass, so they can't get into the VIP room. Oh, I accidentally bought 10. But if you've checked out my other videos, you would know that you don't need the VIP game pass to get the retired egg. You can actually get in for free. If you didn't know that hack, make sure to go check out my other videos so that you know how to get into the room. Said trading 10 retired eggs, and let's see if anybody wants to, you know, trade for one of our retired eggs. Oh, and he's, he put in an emu. Now, I haven't traded the emus in quite a while. Oh, he also put in a king penguin. I haven't actually traded the emus in a while, so I don't really know how rare they are. Are they super rare? Or are they just like air? Because they were from the Aussie egg and they are only a rare pet. But at the same time, they might be super rare now because they've been out of the game for such a long time. So let me know down in the comments below. Are the emus that rare? But we've got a king penguin and an emu for the retired egg. He said, wait, please, I really want it, please. And I'm not sure, should we accept this for our retired egg? Oh, I don't know. Oh, Brett Salami, I think we should do this just to, you know, give us some good luck. I honestly think this will give us some good luck because, you know, we're completing the first trade. That's got to give us a little bit of good luck. Right. Let's go. Let's accept the trade. We did it. Okay, our first trade is done. This person, though, is trading four poodles or four parakeets or four zebras for a good offer. Looking for new penguins or ride potions. Let's put in one of the new ones. And I just said, could I offer for four parakeets and four zebras? Now, of course, we have to throw in a couple of the retired eggs in this trade, but I think we're also gonna add in a few of the penguins because that is the main pet that she said that she wanted. She wants some of the new king penguins. So if we put in three, oh no, I think that's worth it. I think two retired eggs and two king penguins is worth that. Let's go. Let's accept this trade. That's actually pretty good. Four parakeets and four zebras. That's pretty insane since, you know, the parakeets and the zebras are super, super cute. They are some of the cutest little pets ever. I love all of these new pets in the new eggs so much. And I'm super happy that we could trade two retired eggs and two king penguins for four of each. That's awesome. But I think we need to step up our game and we need to get ourselves some awesome legendaries. We need to get ourselves some super awesome alicorns, some dragonflies, some ancient dragons. We need all of those pets. And this person's training a golden pink penguin? No, we want the dragonfly. And this person actually has a dragonfly? No way! Okay, we definitely need to wait for them to finish the trade so we can get it. Oh, so let's put in... Oh, they've actually got the dragonfly. Okay, we need to put in like a good legendary. I'm thinking... Oh, I don't know what to do. Maybe if we put in an old legendary, or maybe, oh, I don't know. Should we put in a gold horn or should we put in a golden walrus? I don't know. I think, what if we do this? If we put in those and then also a retired egg. Oh no, I think three eggs, a mythic egg, an ocean egg, and a retired egg. No, they're to claim the trade. Okay, we definitely have to add more than that though. I think we start by adding in a retired egg and then we also add in some more awesome stuff. Oh, maybe like a dragon. No, the dragons have been in the game for a long time, so they're not very rare. What if 
We put in a, oh, should we put in a Skelly Rex? Would a Skelly Rex be worth it? Or would I be totally overpaying? I feel like I would totally be overpaying. Oh, I think that's pretty good. But let's just add in one more egg just to be safe. Let's put in an ocean egg. I think that's worth a bread slummy. Let me know in the comments below. If you had the dragonfly, would you do it for these three pets? Or I guess one pet and two eggs. I just asked them, would you accept? They said, sorry. Oh no, they said, sorry. Okay, uh, I can add, but wait. Have they left? Have they left the game? Have they left the game? They've disappeared. I think they may have left the game. <laughs> oh, but somebody's opening a mythic egg right now. Oh, that's awesome. They got the wyvern. That is so sick. Oh, that's awesome. This server is kind of like breaking apart. There's like a group of people over here and a group of people over there. This person's trading three of the new corgis though. We definitely need some new corgis. Honestly, the corgis are so cute and we haven't got a single one yet. So I think, what if we put in one retired egg? How much would they put in for one retired egg? Okay, they didn't want the retired eggs. Let's put in a penguin and we don't have any ride potions. We need to quickly buy one. Oh, I almost bought a royal butterfly package. That is not what we wanted. Oh, but they only put in one corgi for one king penguin. This person's trading the retired egg for a legendary pet. Ooh, okay. Should I be putting up what I'm trading mine for? Should I only be accepting like neon fly ride unicorns or something? I don't know. Oh, we have someone who has an alley corn and we're in a trade with them. Okay, you know what we need to do? We need to start off with a gold horn. Start off with a gold horn. Then I feel like we need to add a retired egg. Let's go. Come on. There we go. Let's add a retired egg, an ocean egg, and another retired egg. I think that's pretty good. I think they would accept this. We have to be able to get this alicorn. Okay, come on. Literally, the alicorn is my favorite pet from this whole egg. Come on, please. Please accept the trade. It's a gold horn for an alicorn. That is overpaying. I think I'm overpaying, to be honest. So, let's see. No, they declined the trade. Okay, come on, come on, come on. I'll add, I'll add. I will add. I will add stuff. If they don't accept for this, they are at a loss. We are 100% overpaying. I declined that trade accidentally! No! I was not meant to decline that trade. That was that was not meant to happen. That was an accident. If they don't accept this trade, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Because we are 100 percent overpaying for this alley corn. Come on, please. Please accept the trade for this alley corn. Come on. We are 100 percent overpaying for the alley corn. <gasps> They accepted. But honestly, I think we're overpaying too much. I think for everything in this trade, we could probably get two, if not three alley corns. So oh, it pains me to say this, but no, I'm not gonna do that trade. I'm gonna go trade somebody else for their alley corn. Oh my gosh. We had a trade where we could have gotten an alley corn, but I just didn't do it. Let me know, should I have done that trade or was I totally overpaying? Uh, am I overpaying or underpaying? Y'all need to let me know in the comments if I'm overpaying or underpaying. I wonder, will they accept this? A neon ride Phoenix Fox! A neon ride Phoenix Fox! For all this stuff! Bro! Is the octopus really that bad? Is it really that bad of a pet? I thought the octopus pets were rare. Was that a mistake, Fred Salami? Was that a mistake declining that trade? Should I have done it? Oh no, I may have just made a massive mistake because now I just cannot get trades for any of the new legendaries. So I feel like I should have just gone through with that other trade. Pretzlami, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, but shout out to these two Robux winners. Thank you so much for being members of the Pretzel Army. And I'll see you in the next one. Have the best day ever. Peace. Yeah.